Hey guys, welcome back. So this is part two. In the previous video, we hacked the Vita running 3.70 uh, using Trinity, and then we used Modoro to down downgrade it back to 3.60, and we used Henkaku.xyz, the browser hack, to well hack it. And now we're gonna do a trick to install a micro SD into the Vita to increase the storage using an adapter called SD to Vita micro SD PS Vita adapter. All right, so first things first, we'll go to settings, start that up, go to Henkaku settings, make sure you have um, unsafe homebrew enabled, and close that, go down, open up molecular shell, and you are gonna press select and you just let that load um, on the computer on the PC you want to install FileZilla client um, run as administrator and let me put it on this side and for host you want to type in whatever is on your screen so just the numbers 10.0.0 Point six one, and username and password will leave that as blank and then the port is 1337 so we can use quick connect this will pop up allow ok and we are now connected to the Vita by FTP and these are all the folders that we see on the Vita as well. Next thing you want to do is go to UXO. Um, let me set this aside real quick. Go to UXO right here. And all of these files, all of these files, you want to copy all of them. So this folder is on the original Vita, um, the internal Vita memory card and I created another folder called SD2Vita alright so SD2Vita folder on the desktop FTP window right here all the files in your UXO folder you want to copy you can't just drag this folder over so what we're gonna do is create a new folder and just name it UX0 U X versus X sideways keyboard again alright highlight all of this on this side is where we wanna have the folder pointed to this folder um, you can't just drag it over to this folder it'll give us an error and if you wanna see that error here it is there's the error um, so I'm gonna delete that and on this side I will look for where are we Close this up, C drive, users, my name, um, desktop, and SD2 Vita. There it is, UXO. So go back to this side, highlight everything, drag over. That's it. So we are actually connected to the Vita. Um, by FTP so that's by Wi-Fi by Wi-Fi network so it might take a while to um, copy all these files and while that's working um, <clears throat> the next step would be to download another file called gamesd.skprx alright so it's finished with that um, the next thing we want to do is go to on the right side here go to UR0 open up the Thai folder and we'll see a bunch of files let me drag this open we are gonna minimize both of these windows I'm actually gonna close the SD2 Vita window we're, we're now gonna download a file called gamesd.skprx so I'll leave the link in the descriptions um, I'll save this in my SD2 Vita folder. Close this for now. 
and open up FTP. So in this folder we have the Vita, on the left side we have my computer. So SD2 Vita, drag this over and that file will point to our micro SD as the new main SD card and that'll happen in the next step. So once that's done, minimize this and let's go to um, let's plug in the micro SD card. Alright, so we're gonna install this Samsung Evo micro SD card onto the actually we're gonna plug it into the computer. So make sure you have an adapter for this. Um, I have one of those USB micro SD hubs. So I'm just gonna pop that in. Okay, so here's our micro SD drive. It's empty, of course. Next thing we are going to do is download a file. I'll share the link once again in the descriptions. This is called Win32 Disk Imager. Quick download and install it. And then let me drag it here. Make note of your SD card drive letter. So make sure it's the right one. Um, image file, we're gonna download that next. Alright, so we're gonna download this. Save it to our folder, let it download and close it. So, once again, device has to be the right one. Open up your correct folder, so desktop, SD2 Vita, zzblank.image. There you go, and you can click write, yes, write successful, you can now close this, and what you want to do is unplug and replug your micro SD card from the adapter. Alright, so once you replug it, it'll ask you this if you want to format the disk. So go ahead and click format, and here you want to select XFAT, default allocation size. You can leave this blank, quick format, and click start. So click OK, format complete, and after that, um, we're going to copy that folder into this, uh, into this drive. So, Okay, so we now have this micro SD card folder right here. Um, open up the SD2 Vita folder and everything here. Go into the UXO folder that you copied from the original storage. Um, you're not going to copy, oops, let me turn it back on. You are not going to copy this folder but everything inside it. So make sure do control A, select all, just copy. Replace the files in the destination, go ahead. Everything's good, everything's in here. So now we can close this, the micro SD uh, card. Um, you can do this through your computer, but now you can actually eject it. All right, so now we are gonna put the micro SD card into the SD to Vita adapter. It's a little tight fit, but it works. And then into the cartridge port of the Vita. There we go. Let it click. Close that. And now we're going to restart the Vita. So turn it off. Power off. And then we'll restart it. Okay, so I restarted it. And it's going to lose the hack, so we have to go back down to, or we have to go back to the browser and go to do the henkaku.xyz hack again. Let it do its thing. Now we're going to go to molecular shell, start that up, and we are going to go to UXO. 
go to tie and we're gonna delete this file press triangle and click delete press X to delete press circle circle again and now go into UR0 again go to tie and now we are gonna go into config.txt here press X and scroll down to kernel press X and on this you'll use the screen to type on here first thing you want to type is or click is line break and then we're gonna type um, lowercase you are a number zero colon and letter again T A I uh, forward slash letters and type in game S D dot S K P okay I'm missing the K P R X and make sure that it's typed just like that hit the double down button press circle and then click X to save now we're gonna restart the Vita once again so close this out and one more time okay so it restarted again open this and once again we gotta do the Henkaku browser hack and this is how we would know that it worked if it stops right here and pauses on starting Taihen so that's how you know it worked it's gonna close on its own and now we can actually check it by going to molecular shell and our UX0 folder down here is now 59.62 gigabytes so there you go it worked meaning your micro SD card is now the main installation uh, storage for the Vita so we are done with that um, pats on the back and next step is actually installing Enzo Enzo is a permanent Vita hack so that every time you start up the Vita you don't have to go through the browser hack anymore and reinstall Henkaku alright so now we are going to install Enzo and as you can see here we are on the web page for it enzo.henkaku.xyz um, it's fairly quick you just gotta download it so I'm gonna download it to my SD2 Vita folder and so that VPK um, minimize that we're gonna reuse FileZilla I have to open up molecular shell and then press select to open up the FTP and try it again there it is so now you are gonna go to UX0 and go all the way down to or go open up the data folder we have that here and on the left side I already see enzo.vpk so I'm gonna drag that over that's all you gotta do and then at least on the computer we're back on the Vita cancel this go down to UXO go all the way down oops sorry go down to data and open up the enzo.vpk file install this package let it install click yes and once that is done it's actually taking a while oh there it is you can close molecular shell and boom we have Enzo now tap that start this and it says press circle to accept press circle press cross to install 
So we're going to do that, which is X, and it's going to install everything, and we'll just see how long it takes. Press any key to reboot. And that is how you know it's working. That's the Enzo logo. We never have to use the browser hack to load up in Henkaku on this device anymore. And we are actually still hacked. How do I know? Go to settings, start that. Okay, so that's how you know that Henkaku is still installed um, and it's installed permanently now with Enzo because we can still see the Henkaku settings um, spoofed version, make sure that's on 3.70. Earlier that was on 3.65. Um, the reason for that is whenever you go to the PlayStation Store, you, it will trick the network into thinking that you're on the latest firmware. Um, so, to recap, we used SD2 Vita to install a micro SD card onto the Vita to increase the storage and change that into the main drive or main storage. And then we installed Enzo VPK so that Henkaku will permanently be installed on this Vita. So this actually completes our hacking guide. Um, in the previous video, it was a original firmware. We went down to 3.60 and now we have higher storage using SD2 Vita and permanent hack with Enzo. Um, in terms of what you can now do with this Vita is that's completely up to you There's a lot of other guides that you can look into in terms of ROM backups as well as um, running emulators, there's Adrenaline um, RetroArch, these are all uh, VPK plugins that you can install and I may do some tutorials on that, but for now, thanks for watching and that's all. See ya!